guys uh, welcome back to my channel welcome back to learn in a nutshell so in today's video and in coming few videos couple of videos we'll be talking only about send grid so we'll see about you know how to set up uh, an account in send grid how to integrate it with node.js how to send mail via node.js how to send attachment via node.js how to send uh, attachment without downloading the file locally just with the url how to send the attachment so we'll see all those things uh, in today's and in coming videos but but in today's video we'll um, see how to set up an account uh, to get started with setting up an ac account send it account is easy but to get it activated is a little hectic it's not a straightforward method so Let's go here in Cognito and let's search for SendGrid or go to SendGrid.com. As soon as you go, you'll see start for free. Click on this. And then you can, you know, uh, give any mail ID. Let me give some dummy mail ID. And uh, let me not use a lawyer nutshell also. Let's give testing testing. I'm not going to create an account. I'll just show you how to create. Okay, it's already used. It says let me give some random number. I have to select cars, select car and verify it. Accept it. Give some random password. And the problem here is it needs to have 16 character password. Uh, so after that, click on create account. As soon as you create an account, you'll have to provide another information like this. You can give uh, all the first name, last name. Try to give your actual name uh, and uh, company name. How many employees? If you are just single, just give company name as any company website as any and give your actual uh, mobile number it will be required for two-factor auth authentication and once this is done let's close this you should uh, receive a mail something like this you know uh, wherein you need to provide additional information not sure if it will uh, everyone will receive it but i received so you'll have to provide all this information i provided no business it's for personal use only and uh, so this is the one mail which you receive the other mail would be uh, to you know um, to configure two factor authentication so there'll be another, there'll be another mail also to configure two factor authentication I'm not able to see that so those are the two mails which you will get uh, which you need to you know configure uh, so something like this you will receive another uh, mail to set up two-factor authentication so once everything is done uh, and as soon as you create an account you should start seeing an error message like we need more info uh, to get this account activated or something like that so that's when you need to send all this information uh, no business it's for personal use it will take about one or two days you know to get your account activated uh, unless the account is activated you cannot send any mail uh, no through this so that is one issue so this is how it will look like once you signed up uh, uh, you know for an account in SendGrid, and uh, the dashboard will be here and you can create your uh, dynamic templates if you want to send some custom templates uh, rather than sending plain text or plain HTML. You can do that. I can see all the stats here. Um, how many emails, what are the uh, emails sent, how many failed, all those details, you'll get it here. Also, you can go to activity and see what was the status of your uh, last mail which you sent during certain period can give uh, you know the start date end date and see what is the status of that mail oh here. Yeah. and uh, the first thing which we need to do as soon as you register for an account in SendGrid is um, go to marketing go to senders or you can even go to settings and go to sender authentication so as soon as you go there 
so as soon as you go there uh, you have to create a, a sender account i mean sender email id who is going to use this and send the mail from uh, it is just for you know for the from address that should be displayed for each mail which you send so that's why you need to provide all this information uh, once you add this uh, then you can start sending the mail and also you need to verify this email id they'll send a verification link to this mail id you'll have to click on that to get it verified only once it is verified you can send the mail i will show you that as well in the coming videos so this is about creating sendgrid account uh, it's a straightforward method nothing much to do here also one more thing which you need to know is the api keys you need to keep your uh, API key secure. Uh, you need to create a API key, give a name for that, uh, and download that API key. I believe you cannot see the API key once it is created. So once you create the API key, copy that, paste it somewhere uh, safe so that you can use it for all the future purpose. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, so let me know if you have any doubt in this introduction video when I have showed you know how to register for an account in SendGrid. Let me know if you are facing any issues. So that's about it, guys. Uh, let's catch you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.